Young Sheldon's Georgie spin-off is taking two major risks, but there's strong evidence they'll work. While Young Sheldon's upcoming spin-off focused on Georgie and Mandy will take two big risks, there is reason to believe that this new addition to the Big Bang Theory's universe will still succeed. Young Sheldon has proven a massive hit in its four years on the air. The Big Bang Theory's first spin-off took a couple of significant stylistic risks by dropping the original show's multi-camera sitcom setup and the show's laugh track. Young Sheldon also added narration, and since it was a prequel, a period setting. These changes ultimately proved to be great ideas as the spin-off earned massive ratings. As Young Sheldon Season 7's release date nears, the question of how the show's story will continue has finally been answered. Young Sheldon's resident newlyweds Georgie and Mandy will reportedly get a spin-off of their own that focuses on the pair's relationship after the show's finale. Creatives from both Young Sheldon and The Big Bang Theory will work on this spin-off, with Stephen Molero, Chuck Lorre, and Steve Holland attached to write the show's pilot and produce the series. Although little is known about Georgie and Mandy's show, viewers do know the spin-off will take major risks. Georgie and Mandy's sitcom will be a 90s period piece since that is when the pair were canonically newlyweds. Although Young Sheldon is technically an 80s period piece, the spin-off hasn't leaned into its nostalgic setting as much as earlier hits like The Goldbergs. There are a handful of gags about Sheldon accidentally predicting NFTs or how clunky, slow, and expensive early computers were, but Young Sheldon only occasionally references its period setting. In contrast, 90s nostalgia is a more recent, less overused trend, and Young Sheldon's season 6 finale ensures Georgie and Mandy's spin-off needs these gags. The prequel's spin-off could mine a lot of laughs out of the differences between contemporary life and how things were in the 90s, and this will be particularly important since Georgie's existing backstory guarantees that their relationship won't be a particularly sunny subject. In The Big Bang Theory Season 11, Episode 22, The Sibling Realignment, Georgie revealed he had two failed marriages, meaning his union with Mandy has been canonically doomed since the couple got engaged in season SIXS finale. Georgie and Mandy's show could lean into gags about 90s life to alleviate their bleak prospects, but the show also has another issue. Georgie and Mandy's spin-off brings back TVBT's tone. Young Sheldon's follow-up will reportedly be a multi-camera sitcom. Unlike Young Sheldon, Georgie, and Mandy's spin-off will reportedly be a multi-camera sitcom. This represents a significant stylistic shift away from the single-camera, laugh-track-free Young Sheldon, which focused more on character drama than broad comedy. Georgie's Young Sheldon season 7 story will need to be uproarious to convince viewers that the bickering couple can carry a show on their own, especially because multi-camera sitcoms aren't typically associated with darker character work. This stylistic approach means Georgie and Mandy's tone should skew closer to the Big Bang Theory than Young Sheldon, but this isn't necessarily a good thing. The Big Bang Theory could get away with its broad, cartoony tone since its characters were initially introduced as larger-than-life caricatures. However, Viewers have already seen Georgie and Mandy have many emotionally charged conversations about serious topics like responsibility, parenthood, and commitment. As such, Georgie and Mandy's spin-off borrowing the Big Bang Theory's style might be a bad fit for these more introspective characters. The Big Bang Theory's original show premise centered on the light-hearted, low-stakes premise of Leonard failing to woo Penny, whereas Georgie and Mandy's spin-off would be a silly sitcom about a couple's marriage slowly falling apart. Georgie and Mandy's show can make these risks work. TVBT and recent hit shows prove that both these risks come with rewards.